everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here it is dim my hair dim dim today's video we're going to be talking about organization we're going to be talking about aesthetics this is an area that i've gotten a lot of questions on and i think that it's just like you guys watch my vlogs you see my life you see my instagram you see some things and a lot of you have asked me how to actually be a certain way and most of the times in the past when i've gotten questions on this i answer it very broadly even in the last q a that i did i kind of like talked about birth order me being the first child and that's probably why i'm like this and all of that because it's always kind of like an on the spot thing especially with q and a's and i never give it that much thought before i answer so when i answered it in the last q and a i actually thought about it like a long time afterwards like after that video has been one of those questions that i've had revolving around my head and i started thinking about it and the more i thought about it the more i started taking note of very practical things that i was actually unconsciously doing to keep things a certain way for myself and also the reason i think that i've answered this question a certain way in the past is because i've always just known myself to be like this it's not something that i woke up at a point and i decided oh i'm going to change and turn my life around and become like this but then irrespective of the fact that that's not what it's been for me i also like i said that i'm noticing that there were things practical things i was doing unconsciously to help me just be organized stay organized keep to a specific or a particular type of aesthetic aesthetic I would say so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys five of them like five things I've observed just from myself so this is like a very personalized thing that helps me be and stay organized okay I know that a lot of people like recently the word aesthetic has kind of evolved to take on a new meaning with social media especially and people kind of see it as not being real sometimes but guys i think that generally as human beings we kind of always a lot of us gravitate towards aesthetic a certain type of aesthetic it doesn't have to be the type you see all over social media but we kind of gravitate towards them and there's some of them that we kind of consider ideal sometimes and the problem i think it starts from like or people start encountering issues when they try to adopt or follow certain aesthetics when they find it difficult to maintain or there's kind of a conflict you know like you feel like you're not being true to yourself so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys five habits that i consciously and unconsciously do that help me stay organized and aesthetic okay so the first one is making lists and some of you are going to be like making lists what's there i make lists every time i go grocery shopping like i make lists i know how to make lists guys when i say making lists i mean making lists of everything i personally like to have visual reminders of things that i need to get done it helps me remember everything i write down everybody that i need to call every task i need to complete emails that i need to re respond to like i kind of like even sometimes do it like there's a hierarchy i note everything down so that i'm able to look at it there's this sense of fulfillment i get every time i check something off of my list i use the notes app on my phone for this sometimes um for just like everyday tasks okay so i do this listing thing for daily activities i do it for very serious things like work and i'm going to explain how first thing in the morning or before i go to bed i make a list of everything that i want to do like every single thing that i I want to do okay aside like things that are kind of normal or routine like showering or brushing my teeth or all of that everything i write it down everybody i need to call everything i need to do i write it down and i've seen that this helps me come off to people as more organized because i always have an answer to a lot of the questions i get i always do things when i'm supposed to do it and etc and sometimes when we come across people like this we think that oh they have this very comprehensive filing system in their brain no they just make lists okay so i make lists first thing in the morning i also use my notes app so sometimes like randomly when i'm out and something just occurs to me and i want to write it down i use my notes app for that so most of the time i have the same list going on my phone and on my notepad as well another thing again that i like to do for work is make lists as well so with work especially i like the kanban system i think it's called i think it's a japanese system i'm going to put a screenshot of it somewhere on the screen but this system kind of allows you to see your list in three stages a very very popular project uh, management app that i know that has this layout is trello but i feel like trello can be a bit like complicated for people who just want to get very basic things done or like you know there are not a lot of steps in between like subtasks within tasks there's a, an app called tasks that i use as well i'm going to try and link this apps in the description box but with the kanban system what you do is you see your to do you see everything that you need to do and then that everything moves in stages so when you check something off of your to-do list it moves to your doing list especially when you've started doing it so the minute i start doing something i check it off the to-do and it 
moves to doing and then once i'm done doing i move to done and i feel like every time i check things off stage by stage like i get a sense of like it, it motivates me to want to do more like it just also helps me stay on track i'm able to see what needs to be done when and with the apps that i use you can even give these tasks a due date when they are due the app send you reminders telling you that you're running late telling you that you've not said that something you're supposed to be you're supposed to start that is due at a certain time these things help so I check up on things when I'm supposed to check up on things. I check up on people when I'm supposed to check up on them. So I'm able to do all of this because I make lists, okay? So if you want to come off, not come off, just be more organized with life in general and the things you do. I think I didn't say this already in the intro, but this isn't about productivity, this video. It's not about how to be organized with school or work i'm just this is more of like a general life thing and a lot of the things i'm saying you can now apply to very specific areas of your life but i make lists lists are so important okay okay another habit that i have that has really really helped me is backing things up or always having a spare for everything guys i have a spare for the craziest things okay <laughs> I'm not even fronting. This goes like every area of my life from makeup to gadgets to just work items to the things I used to cook in my kitchen. I always have things in spares, okay? And my line of work especially, <laughs> If you're not prepared or you're not planned, like you don't plan for like a backup, especially when devices are concerned, they can show you shaggy, okay? So I learned early on to always have backup for a lot of things like, so when it comes to work, I have multiple, not multiple shots. Yes, for some things, multiple. So for, for all the important things is spare. I have two cameras, okay, for sure. I have two vlogging cameras as well. I have um, multiple hard drives, multiple um, SD cards, multiple tripods. I have two computers. So the thing about it is I think of the worst case scenario and I think about what will happen when I don't have specific things. I also back up things to cloud. I back them up to my hard drive and like you, sometimes you have a client right and then they don't understand all these things you're saying if you're saying that something has crashed or it's not working properly and you don't have a spare so i learned with time and it's not like i buy like i go to go and buy two cameras at once or i buy two phones at once or i buy like two computers at once like that's not what i do what i do however is that i always start out with one item and then whenever i upgrade i never get rid of the old thing unless like i upgrade twice I don't know if this makes sense but i always hold on to the first item even with the upgrade so that if anything happens i have something to fall back on okay but i think that this helps a lot it just it just helps you where there's an emergency when you run into something and like i said i never set out going to buy two things like i can't even afford some of these items two of it at once but what i do is i hardly ever let go of certain things after I upgrade, okay? And what I basically do is I imagine the worst case scenario. I imagine my camera packing up and not having a spare camera. I imagine my computer packing up and not having a spare computer. Like, I let that motivate me, okay? I let that guide the decisions that I make, okay? And this also applies to different areas of your life, okay? Have a spare and backup of things that are very, very important as much as you can, just try okay try i know that it sounds expensive but trust me it's going to it's not as expensive as missing out on something because you couldn't deliver you know one habit that i know that i have and this one is so unconscious is that i always put things back where i got them i always try to leave things how i found them it's very small things and very big things so it could be as small as like um just putting a plate back where it should go or making your bed when you wake up and this is how you have an organized space so i shoot a video like once i'm done shooting the video i make sure to pack my makeup back where it goes immediately so any given time anybody walks in here they don't understand or they don't they wouldn't even begin to imagine the amount of chaos that the process actually entails but then it's just easier for me like that like even when i come back from a trip like if I don't unpack shortly afterwards, I unpack at least by the next day. I don't leave my suitcase, for example, on the floor for a very long time. And the thing about this for me to explain it is, if I have something that I feel like I need to get done, the longer I leave it undone, the more I dread it. Like it consumes me. And I begin to think of it. Just, it's just like, I don't like the fact that it's sitting at the back of my mind as something that I haven't done. So what I try to do is to try to put things back the way that I saw it. It just makes for a more organized like space 
a more organized way of living you know that every single time you go to a specific place something is there because you always put it back where you got it from i think that that will help you immensely if this is like you're trying to be more organized in life okay this particular one will help you putting things back where you found them so for me this especially is the reason why i think that my spaces always look clean my living room i clear it up once i'm done kitchen i clear it up once i'm done office i clear up once i'm done when i wake up in the morning i sort out my bedroom like i do this it applies to everything and it just makes for a tidier space and i think that if you pick up this habit your spaces stop being like things that you have to make out time to sort out like you're literally sorting things out or clearing things up as you use them as you go through your day so i say put things back where you got them from it also helps when you're looking for something like the older i've gotten i've realized that i don't look for things as crazily as i would when i was much younger and i didn't really do this as much i know now that if i'm looking for something i have a visual of like where it is supposed to be or where it most likely will be so yeah the fourth one is to put a lot of thought into what you buy okay so especially let's say with spaces my house is like no matter how i like something sometimes i go out and i see something and it looks absolutely beautiful if i cannot picture where it will be and what it will complement in that area i don't get it i just don't get things for the sake of getting and this applies to a lot of things for me but especially with my physical space i put a lot of thought into where this thing will be how much space it will consume what it will complement if it doesn't all come together in my mind no matter how good it looks to me in a store or somewhere i don't bother because at that point it bothers on greed or gluttony to me because this thing looks good in a place that isn't mine but it just looks good enough for me to want to get it does it fit with the system i have does it fit with the space that i have i ask myself this and it just kind of guides the way that i consume certain things you know so put a lot of thought into the things you buy especially things that you have to hold on to for a very long period of time just think critically or and i'm not saying start cracking your brain but there's a, there are a couple of things like i said the three things i just kind of mentioned you know where it will go how much space it will consume what it will complement how it will fit in like think about all those things and then like if you just don't see it then you know like this is how you prevent yourself from actually buying buying and acquiring and this even like to me it's not even just about when it comes to spending money even when someone is trying to give me something right or like you see people who, who go out to events or like i see this in weddings i'm sorry it used to happen back in enugu and you see people fighting over certain things souvenirs or you're trying to acquire something just because it is that thing but how does it actually fit into your life if you think about it like that you see that there's a level of hesitation that just you get that you might not necessarily you know that maybe doesn't it's not the first thing that comes to your mind but if you think about it like this you kind of hesitate a little bit and that will guide you you know so the last habit for me is that i gravitate towards aesthetics that i consider to be genuinely genuinely appealing things that appeal to me things that speak to me not things that look good on social media or look good to other people things that appeal to you i feel like a lot of aesthetics are actually not the easiest things to follow and maintain but if you actually love what it is you're building or curating or you know like adopting when it comes to a certain aesthetic it just makes you because i feel like the excitement is a very good thing it keeps you motivated it wants you to do more in that area okay so for me with aesthetics there are three things i know that i think of like mostly and it's hues it's colors it's palettes right i think about these things and interior design the same things pictures the same thing outfits the same thing and even if you're color blocking i need to have a visual of it so think about like the whole complementing thing applies here now with the aesthetics think about how you know the things you're playing around with kind of complement each other for example my instagram feed everything there's not just one color or in one palette and i used to use like presets heavily back in the day i stopped using that but then now for me like there are no like heavy heavy presets on my pictures what i do however is that i think about how the next picture looks like just close to the previous one i think about it like that does it look good are there spaces you think about it like this and then just 
it, it just helps you with the way you place things even when you're making something as simple as a photo collage even when you're putting outfits together even when you're designing a space you think about it like that you think of cohesion like how do they go together the colors involved do they complement each other even if they don't belong in the same family is something too out of place in a way that doesn't make sense Think about it like it's actually spend time five minutes ten minutes think about it look at the outfit in the mirror try to envision it and it will help you i take pictures of things a lot i remember when i was trying to do up this space and i was getting some things like i'll take a picture i'll be like okay i like this couch and today i'm going to go and buy stuff to kind of and decorate the couch with I make sure that I have a picture of my couch to see the actual color of the couch so that when I hold things that are supposed to go up on it or go on it like close to it it helps me picture how it actually will look in reality or or in person so think about it like that don't be scared to move things around like if you feel like something doesn't fit if you feel like an outfit doesn't work switch it up the same thing applies to interior design the same thing applies to when you're making a photo collage do not be hesitant when it comes to moving things together it helps you visualize things and a lot of the work you see where creative people are concerned they just don't like make a it's not a magical decision that comes to them there's a lot of like placing things comparing and deciding involved okay maybe you can also think about how something will photograph like that could help you figure out whether or not to go with something or not you know so these five things have helped me a lot they're very practical things like i said and things i think that should be easy for anyone to adopt i think about things like this when it comes to making certain decisions and i know from experience that it just kind of generally helps me come across a certain way and it makes me happy more than how it makes me come across it makes me feel like i have my shit together when i do things this way that i do them so for someone who's trying to get to this type of place in their life and they are trying to just just be more organized i say try out these five habits first see where you go from there you know and the last thing i'll say and it's something i said in my last q a as well is if you're trying to be organized just also consider looking at things from a point of aesthetic like it doesn't matter what aesthetic it is but if you choose an aesthetic and you adopt an aesthetic look at your space look at your clothes look at your life look at everything around you through the window of that aesthetic it will help you figure out what is out of place what goes and what does not go i hope this video helped you guys i hope some of you found it helpful give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to me if you are not yet subscribed i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah.